Hi everyone, it's Karen here with a set of mixed media ATCs created for Seven Dot Studio. Enjoy! This set of ATCs has a sun and moon kind of theme and I really wanted to make them highly textured. So the first thing I did is I took uh, my 3D matte gel from Prima Finabare and added some bronze looking microbeads inside from the art ingredients. I took the Dreamscapes geometry stencil and using a palette knife just basically created the pattern in the background by running it through the stencil. I used an old tub of 3D matte gel and just because I just left it there empty so I could use for this type of occasion where I want to mix things in it but I don't want everything to be mixed up and to do this effect to have it really texturized you really need to put a lot of microbeads I almost put about half a tub with the gel and I actually use gel from another tub put it in this one and then put a lot of microbeads and I can always use it for the next time again as you can see I was pulling some things out because in my last uh, video I dumped some beads by mistake some larger like kind of crystal beads and I'm just finding them now so it's just funny that I was um, finding them after so as you can see I'm doing my third one and I end up adding as many as uh, beads as I need micro beads to make it really thick and as you can see like it's a really thick kind of texture but it looks really really great I just recently saw Miranda Edney doing this and I just really wanted to recreate it. I've used beads in gel in the past, but I've never actually put so many of them to make such a thick texture. And you can even go back, as you see now, I put the stencil back on because I really wanted this one ATC to have a lot more texture on it. And when it dries, it looks fantastic, as you can see here. When it's dry, the gel becomes clear and it took about 24 hours to dry. Then I took some alcohol inks. This is the ginger color and I'm just basically putting a few drops at the top and at the bottom and letting and spraying some water to let it all flow. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the teak wood more towards the edges because it's a very dark color but what it does is it gives a really nice burnt effect which I really love. The paper in the background which I created the ATCs on it's from the Hazy Days collection from 7 Dot Studio. Unfortunately, I did cover it all, but the nice thing about the Seven Dot Studio paper is that it's really thick, so you can really add a lot of mixed media on it, and it holds a lot of it, which is really nice. So this is just uh, from the 6x6 paper pad. It's just one of the papers, and it actually, each 6x6 paper fits three ATC size papers. I decided that instead of uh, staining my fingers, I will use tweezers, and I grab my tweezers and just basically use the darker color as you can see I'm also using a piece of packaging like clear packaging so because this mat the one thing about this mat is amazing but any mat really the alcohol ink really stains mat so it's really important to put something to protect it the last thing I did is I added some of the turquoise pool color and this is a really nice I think it's a mermaid color or turquoise I can't remember I'll have it all in the description area and I just added in all the empty spaces I added some of that turquoise alcohol ink which made it all look so amazing I love the combination between the browns and the turquoise that's one of my favorite combinations of colors then I took the brass color from the art alchemy waxes from Finna Bear and just basically started rubbing it with my finger over all the texture that I had in the background and it really brought highlights of that texture up into the open of course I had to make sure that my alcohol inks were fully dry but they dry really quickly and then I just went and added the wax with my fingers but this really kept the beautiful texture and brought it out into the surface for the sun shape element in the center, I cut out the little face from the sunrise paper from the Dreamscapes collection. This is part of a 6x6 pack, not the full page. And then I took a Sandra Evertson Dresden. This is Dresden Trim, which is uh, called Soul or Sun, which is perfect for my theme. And this is in the silver color. The nice thing about it is they're made out of metal, so you can actually use alcohol inks to, uh, to actually paint them. 
so it didn't matter that they were silver because I actually wanted it in gold or have kind of like that golden kind of color so I was just playing around to see what would be the best way of doing it and I just cut them a little bit shorter and I knew I would use the face for a different um, for a different project but these were perfect because there were enough eight of them for each one of the ATCs so I put the little sun face underneath one of the Prima stones from Finnabear. They're called Melanges. Melanges? I'm not sure their name exactly. Don't quote me because it's in French and I don't speak French, unfortunately. Um, but those are the same ones that I had, those little things that I had fallen into my gel. So all I did is I glued um, the little face to the stone, that clear kind of stone. And then I started adding the little sun rays from the metal Dresden into my to make a sun around the circle. So I use soft matte gel for this from Prima Finnabare. And what I was doing, I was taking a little bit of the same wax I had used before, the brass color, and I started adding a little bit of like highlights on top of the silver to kind of change the color and as, as you can see I'm kind of struggling to stick them all because they get stuck to my finger but it doesn't matter it's just fun to play around and create this so I put first I put seven of them but then I went and counted the rays on the big sun and I realized that it would fit eight for each ATC so I ended up cutting another one and adding it as well I took a die cut element from the Dreamscape collection from 7 Dot Studios and basically glued it to the background to reinforce everything. Then I wanted to stain the ray, so I took the alcohol links again and started adding them and guess what? I made another mistake and everything ran underneath and I wasn't expecting it and as usual when I make mistakes I have to fix them somehow. So I took off up that apart and cut another one of those moon faces because thank god I had another one from like 6x6 paper pad uh, because I think 4 or 5 of them come in it so that was perfect that I had an extra one. And I started adding the alcohol inks in both ginger and the turquoise color and even spraying it with water a little bit just to kind of release some of the darkness and have it just a little bit tinged. Then I took another one of those, I cut another one like I said, and glued it back again onto that clear stone and then glued it into the center. So you see me here that I, this is a different one that I had grabbed because of course I made a mistake and I always would like to show how I'm, what happens and how when, what happens when I do the mistakes and how I fix them. Then I took the rest of the Dresden uh, rays and I actually stained it right on the Dresden itself and just used the alcohol inks on both the ginger and the pool color and then cut them up. And then I decided to add them to the other suns that I had cut up. And this I, I kept this and actually stained it so I could use it for a different project so I really liked how it looked. So here you see I glued them all and I even added a little bit of the wax to the rays as well but I did that after I had put the alcohol inks. I didn't think it was necessary to show you how I glued the rays onto each one of the suns and so I just took some of this really nice golden copperish string and cutting a bunch of it I just glued it to the background using some soft matte gel. Then I added some more soft matte gel to the back of my sun and then glued it on top. I really like that texture in the background because it really adds a little bit of like magic to it. I felt like the ATCs had enough texture so the only thing I had left to do was to add a message. So I took first a sticker from the Hazy Days sticker elements and just started gluing it using my gel to the background. 
and then I took some sticker awards from the dreamscapes collection and just added it on top to create give messages so when I'm giving these away there's messages for each one of them Here I took some of the wax and just started adding it on top of the white area because I really wanted it to kind of blend into the background and not stick out as much and the white was too bright for me for this composition. Finally, as I said before, I added three messages from the word stickers from the Dreamscapes collection from 7 Dot Studio, and then I was done. And I stuck them with the soft matte gel from Prima again. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more inspiration, subscribe to my channel and visit me on my website to sign up for newsletters. Bye!